squat. This is a fight shape, heavy bag workout. Let's work together for this one. You are working eight rounds in this boxing workout. We're gonna give you the feeling of training for that world championship fight in each and every round. Beginners, I want you to take your time. Feel the combinations. We'll go through a warm up in the beginning. My more advanced athletes, I just want you to work at a high level, higher than me. Follow me, then outdo me the same way you would training for that championship belt. In 30 seconds, we're gonna go. We're gonna work one minute sets in today's workout. And let's flow together. Let's get the most out of this workout. And if it's your first time to the channel doing a live workout, my name is Nate Bauer. This is the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. And this is a 35 minute fight shape heavy bag workout. If you don't have a heavy bag, you can shadow box to get it done. Let's go. You ready to work? Let's go. We're gonna do neck stretches. Right now we're gonna do four per side, alternating nice and easy. You know, as you're stretching your neck from the side, very easy. The intensity is about three, hold for a couple seconds and switch sides. Now coming up, we're gonna do a hamstring hip hinge. So let's bring your right leg forward, point your toe to your shin, push your hip back, breathe and hold for two seconds. And switch, left foot forward, Toe comes up, hip hinge, and switch. Nice and easy, right side, toe to shin, dorsiflexed, hip hinge, feel the hamstring or the back of the leg. Switch, left foot, and right foot, and left foot. All right, just crossovers. You want one arm to cross over and under the other, just like this. Get the chest and shoulder blades lit up a little bit. Breathe as you go through it. So over, under, under, over, switch it up each time. Three, two, one. Halfway through the round, let's work your jabs, the number one, just like this. Again, that rear hand is even numbers. The lead hand is odd numbers, so we're working the jab. Step between combinations, getting ready to go to war. Now let's double up this jab. It's a one, one. Breathe as you punch. There you go. Now let's throw across the number two. So you wanna rotate the back hip slightly. Keep that lead hand up and in front. That's the number two. Now let's add in the lead hook, the two, three. So the cross comes out and then pull that lead shoulder into the rear side. That's a two, three. And that nice level shoulder rotation, two, three. Let's do two more. Good, let's work the lead uppercut, the number five. We'll skip the four for now. The number five right there. Nice, you're popping up the opponent's chin with a nice vertical forearm. Let's add in the number six, the rear uppercut coming from that even number side. Your elbow slightly to the inside of your torso as you throw it. Now let's put them together, the five and the six. Lead uppercut, rear uppercut. Two more, five, six. And let's go, 45 seconds. We're gonna get into your first official round, which is boxing and conditioning. Now, what I want you to do in round number one is think of pushing at about 60% effort to get your conditioning piece. The first combination for one minute will be a jab, duck, left, one, two. We worked those combinations already. Let's throw one, duck to your, that same side, your lead side, then throw a jab, cross, and then move. Shake out your arms, get ready to go. This show first round, boxing and conditioning, let's go. One, duck left, one, two, let's work. Jab, duck, lead side, jab cross, movement. One, duck left, jab cross, move. So change positions on the heavy bag or shadow boxing. 
Now after you throw this jab, when you duck to your lead side, make sure you're ducking in a pendulum motion. So use your legs to help get you there and generate energy as you come up to throw that one two with a nice high guard so you don't get caught as you transition from top to bottom and bottom to top. 20 seconds. Keep working. One, duck left. One, two. Movement. Nice and easy. Your one, two can be power. Now, across, duck right, lead hook. Two, duck to the rear side, reposition, throw a hook and move. Let's go. Two, duck right. Three. So you have the cross coming from the rear side, the hook coming from the lead side. Again, movement can be one step to your right, one step to your left, one step in. It can be a small pivot. Twenty seconds. That's it. Nice and easy as we work here. Control everything. Hands come back up to the high guard position. Now we're gonna throw four straight punches. Slip left, slip right. Okay. One, two, three, four. Slip to your lead side. Slip to your rear side. Let's finish strong at least 60% power. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Slip, slip, move. One, two, three, four. Slip left, slip right. Movement, you can throw a jab as you move as well. Four punches, four straight punches. Slip, slip, change position. Let's get back to work. Now you wanna make sure you finish Full extension in, full extension out, full extension out, full extension in. As you slip, so try not to slip with your hands down. 30 seconds. Visualize straight shots coming in as a counter punch. You're moving around those with your slips. My more advanced fighters, you can throw a hook or a rear uppercut after the slip. 10 seconds, champions. Good job, keep working. In five seconds, we're gonna finish. We'll repeat the same style of set in round number two, rest. Great job. Now coming up in our next round, it's the same deal. We're gonna work boxing and conditioning, but your body's already warm now. The fight's already begun, so your coach is telling you, yo, you're doing good. But I want you to think, Again, you're working at a high level. You don't want to let your guard down. You don't want to give in because you've already won or had a solid first round. The first combination is a one block right, three, two, duck right. A jab, block to the rear side, throw a lead hook, then a cross, and then duck right. Let's do it together. One block right, three, two, duck right. Let's go. One block right, three, two, Duck right. So think of it in grouping. One block right. Three, two, duck right. Jab, block rear side. Hook, cross, duck right. One block right. Three, two, duck right. There you go. Now work that 60 to 65% effort. Now as you're ducking to the rear side off the cross, that momentum will pull you under a little bit so you can continue to move to your rear side. Seconds. That's it, keep it up, you're good. Don't forget to breathe, don't hold your breath. Coming up, we're gonna throw, we're going to throw a fake two punches, slip two punches. So fake, two shots, slip, two punches. You gotta mix it up, it's up to you now, champ. Let's go. Fake, forward, left or right, two punches, slip, Left or right, two punches. Let's go. Fake, two punches. Slip, two punches. Move. 
Now my more advanced fighters, you can throw a jab cross, fake, two punches, three, two, slip, two punches. Thirty seconds. Find your pace here. Don't slow down a little bit, but again, it's not constant work. You're punching, yes, but you're still moving. You're still feeling the flow of the workout. You're feeling out your opponent. You know what to do, but you don't want to overdo it. You still have work to give. You still have punches to throw and defensive movements to make. We're going to work inside with three punch combinations and then pivot. So go here. Inside, one, two, three punches, pivot, take a little break, get back to work. Work inside, three punch combo, pivot, get back out with a jab, step back in with a jab, three punch combos, pivot, and keep, keep working that way. Good job, you guys, 45 seconds. You're training for a fight, you want the win every round. Don't let your opponent out train you. That's how you gotta think. Whatever your opponent's doing, you're doing it better. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Four. Three, you got it. Two, one, and rest. Good, shake it out, guys. Shake it out. Now here, you're just, you're shaking your arms out. You're resting. You're getting ready for your next round, which is all boxing, which means I want you to look really good here. You gotta think, yo, this is my time to shine, working the heavy bag in these all boxing combos. I'm gonna move my feet. I'm gonna throw in some nice step-in movements. I'm gonna step laterally really well. That's what I want you to think about. Obviously while keeping your hands up with sharp punches. Your first combination, you're gonna step in with a jab, rear uppercut, jab, cross. Step in with a one six. You can step out and then throw a one two or pivot and throw a one two. Step in, one six, one two. Let's work, go. Step in, one six, one two. Step in, one six. One, two, different changes of tempo, different energy, different rhythm, same punches. Step in, one, six, one, two, move. Let's go. Take a breath when you feel like your punches are getting sloppy. Yeah, that's it, looking good, 30 seconds. Keep working, keep working, you're solid, you're working well, that nice one, six, one, two, you can add a three on the end of that one, two. One, six, one, two, three, if you want. Now coming up, in about five seconds, I want you to throw a step to your lead side, then a three to the head, a three to the body, and then a two, one, cover. So step left, three to the head, three to the body, two, one, cover, let's go. Then move back to your right, step left, three, three body, two, one, cover. Move to the right, now step left, three, three body, two, one, cover. Step left, three, three, body, two, one, cover, keep working. And that two one's nice and straight. Give me a strong cover, but you can still see, but you'll block everything coming in. Keep working. In five seconds, I want you to do freestyle work off the jab. So just throw a jab and then work whatever you want. Ready, go, jab. Work whatever you want. Movement, throw your jab to the head, jab to the body, jab to the side of the head. Jab, freestyle, that's work. Jab, freestyle, whatever you want, that's work. Go defense in there too. 
40 seconds. Breathe, reset, fast jab. It's a power jab. Maybe it's a double jab. seconds. You got it, guys. Come on. You got it. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. Keep it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great work, you guys. Rest it up. We'll get ready for your next round. Now again, when you do these type of combinations, especially when you're working all boxing, you want to think movement, but you also want to think defense. Remember, with the heavy bag, you're not getting hit back, obviously. So you got to visualize it. It's important. Coming up, we're doing your power round. So with your power round, you got to think of adding a power component to your combos. You can start the combination off with a couple power shots, or you can finish it. Most boxers typically finish their combinations with power, but it doesn't mean it's not effective to do it the reverse. So your first combination is a two, one, three, two, three, defend. Let's go. Two, one, three, two, three, movement, defend. Two, one, three, two, three, defend. Cross, jab, lead hook, cross, lead hook. Defend, block, slip, cover, move, faint. Those are all defensive movements. Two, one, three, two, three, defend. This is an amazing power combination because you have a, mixes, a mix of twos and threes. So when you throw them, decide which ones you're gonna throw with power, which ones you're gonna throw with speed. Ten seconds. Keep going. Keep going. The next combination is a one, four, one, eight. The overhand right, duck left. Let's go. Do it with me. The jab, rear hook, jab, overhand right, duck to the lead side, to your jab side. Let's go. One, four, one, eight, duck. One, four, one, eight, duck lead side. Make the four and eight power shots. One, four. One, eight, duck left. One, four, one, eight, fast duck. Keep it up, keep it up, you're doing good. Again, after that eight, you can throw a couple jabs, then duck, you can duck, then throw some jabs. You can always sprinkle your own flavor on it. I say it a lot because sometimes it just feels like you should do this. Instinctually, you want to throw more or move in a certain pattern. If it feels effective, it more than likely is. In 10 seconds, you're gonna throw a step in, throw a one, then pivot, throw any two punches, go. Step in, fast jab, turn. Two power shots. Great combination. Movement, movement. Step in, one, pivot. Yes, where's my power at? Where's your power at, you guys? Step in, one, pivot, two shots. Step in, one, pivot, two shots. Thirty seconds, you got it, thirty seconds. Stay focused, twenty seconds. Ten seconds, ten seconds, keep working. Strong power shots to finish off the round. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good, rest. Again, shake out the shoulders. Your coach is talking to you, telling you how amazing you were, how well you did, great job. That's me, by the way. In 30 seconds, we're going for your next round, which is all boxing intervals. So again, we're gonna do 30 second sets of these. 
Your first set is a one, four, one, two, three. One, four, that's a rear hook. One, two, three, so one, four, one, two, three. And we do these non-stop in a nice controlled rhythm for 30 seconds, okay? And we'll do the next one after 30 seconds. Ready, go. One, four, one, two, three. 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 Keep it up. Remember, 30 second sets. We do each combination twice. Get ready. We're gonna do a dip, throw a cross to the body, then a lead hook, rear uppercut. Dip, cross body, three, six, reset. Dip, cross body, three, six, reset. Go, dip, two body, three, six, reset. Dip, two body, reset, three, six. You got it, keep going. Dip to the left side, cross to the body, then come up and throw a three, six. Dip left, cross body, three, six. We're gonna freestyle with slips. So any combinations you want, non-slot stop with slips, any combination you want with slips, let's go. Slip, slip, let your hands go. Let your hands go, slip. Freestyle with slips, put in one. Breathe as you're working, you guys. Don't hold your breath, it's important. You wanna work body and head, different foot positions on the bag, inside and outside. Let's go back to one, four, one, two, three. Go, one, four, one, two, three. One, four, one, two, three. Jab, rear hook, jab, cross lead hook. One, four, one, two, three. One, four, one, two, three. One, four, one, two, three. That's it, keep it up. Coming up, we're gonna dip left, two to the body, three, six. Dip left, two body, three, six. Let's go. Dip left, two body, three, six. Dip and rip, three, six. Dip and rip, three, six. Dip and rip, three, six. Yes, come on. Freestyle with slips. Are you ready? Go, freestyle. Let your hands go as many punches as you want. Add in some slips, put in work. You need to finish this round strong. Finish this round strong, you guys. This is on you. Whoever's training with us right now, there's hundreds of you. Make sure you are the one that's putting in the most effective combinations on the bag or freestyle shots, shadow boxing right now. Four, three, that's it. Two, one, and rest. Great work, you guys. Shake it out, get water. We're going again for all conditioning intervals in about 35 seconds. Take a deep breath, inhale. In 20 seconds, we're gonna just do a step, pivot, and drop. If for some reason you can't drop down with your knees or if you have an issue getting down, just pivot quickly. Just step, turn, step, turn. Everybody else, let's get some condition in the legs. You wanna step, pivot, and drop. Are you ready? Exercise number one, this is one minute. Step, pivot, drop, let's go. Step, pivot, drop. Step, pivot the other way, drop. Step, pivot left, drop. Step, pivot right, drop. You know it, let's go. You wanna work at a pace that you can sustain for the entire minute. Of course, I always want you to outwork me, so if you can do that, make sure you do. As you drop down, try not to let your torso dip too far forward, because that's extra energy that could slow you down and come back up out of the drop and into your pivot. So you wanna control your 
upper body positioning as you drop down. That's it, you got it, there you go. You have to recognize what your torso is doing as you drop. 10 seconds. Now down to the ground, what we're going to do is four shoulder taps and pause. Ready, three, two, your knuckles through your gloves, not your hands, but you make a fist through your gloves, let's go. Shoulder tap, right, left, right, left, hold. Left side first, go. Left, right, left, right, hold, plank. Right side first, right, left, right, left, hold. Fist through your gloves. Left side, left, right, left, right, hold. 20 seconds. Right side, right, left, right, left, hold. Left, first, left, right, left, right, hold. Right, right, left, right, left, hold. For three, two, one, bring it up, throw one, one, two, one, one, two, let's go. Jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. One, one, two, one, one, two, keep it up. You know the rhythm. You shouldn't be standing still. You can throw the one, one, two, moving to your left, moving to your right. You can throw it moving forward, and you can throw it moving backwards. You can throw it off of a pivot or in a pivot. 20 seconds. Come on, squad. You got this. 10 seconds. Come on now, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. We have round number seven, call outs coming up. Now the idea of call outs is for me to yell instructions to you with your boxing combos. For my beginners, if it's your first time doing this, you can throw just straight punches, so ones and twos. When I call a combo you don't know, just throw a jab or just throw a cross. It's the easiest way. Everybody else, I want you to add in defense. I want you to add in movement as I call out these combinations, okay? Breathe. Let's get ready for it. Two rounds to go. Round number seven, round number eight. Two rounds to go. Let's go. We're going to work off of a slip. So when I call a combination, slip, then throw it. Let's go. Slip left, one, two. Slip left, two, three. Let's work all slip lefts to start. Slip left, five, two. Slip left, one, one. Slip left, one, one, two. Slip left, two. Three, two. Slip left. Two, three, two. One, one. Slip left. Five, two body. Six. Slip left. Five, two body. Six. Slip left. Two, one, two. Slip left, step left, one, two. Slip left, step left, one, two. Now let's go in a slip right. Slip right, two. Slip right, two, one. Slip right, two, one, two. Slip right, double jab. Slip right, jab head, jab body. Slip right, six, three, two. Slip right, six, three, two, one, one, two. 30 seconds with this combination. Slip right, one, two, three, two.
slip right. One, two, three, two. Step right, slip right. One, one, two. Let's see if you got that right. Step right, slip right. One, one, two. Now every combination I call, you're going to step into the heavy bag. Step in first to throw it. Let's go. Last one. One. Step in first. One, two. Step out, change direction. Or just put it on the inside. One, two, three. Two, three body. Remember, step in. Step in. Two, three body, three head. Step in. One, one, two body. 30 seconds. Step in. One, eight. Stepping left, one, one, two. Great job. Step in, one, eight. Step left, one, one, two. Step in, one, two, one, two. Slip right. Step in, one, 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 two. Slip left. Step in, one, two. Step in, two, three. Step in, one. Excellent, go work squad. As you go through this workout, or if you do this even after we do this session, you will see how fast you will pick up those combinations the more you go through it. We have one round to go. I need you to recover, breathe, and let's get the most out of this last round. You're going to take the win one minute each. The first one, you're going to push the heavy bag away from you, then throw a jab, three body, four body, and then throw a few punches after. So you jab to the head, throw a three to the body, a four to the body, and then work the bag. Again, you wanna be consistent here. It's not about max output, it's about being consistent, strong, and poised. Let's go, push. One, three body, four body, a few extra shots, move. Let's work, guys. Push, one, three body, four body. Work the bag, yes. Push with your shoulder or your hands. One, three body, four body. Work the bag. Keep working it. You have one minute total, 40 seconds to go. Now you can push the bag with your shoulder as if you're inside trying to create room or with your hands as if the ref is breaking you apart and you want it to get away from your opponent slightly before you throw that jab. Now you're gonna step to the side of the bag, throw a cross all the way out like this and land a lead power hook. Wait a few seconds, move to the other side of the bag and do it again. So you miss with the cross. It comes across the base of the bag and throw a fast, powerful lead hook either to the head or to the body. Let's go. Miss the cross, land the hook, change positions. Yeah, let's go. Power shots, fast hands. Miss the cross, land the hook, move. Miss the cross, land the hook, move. That's it. Miss the cross, land the hook, just like that. 30 seconds. This is very much controlled. Again, you're just you're showing your opponent that your lead hook is still quick and powerful. Your cross is missing on purpose. You're throwing that punch in front of their eyes so they can't see the hook coming in. Of course, you need to defend though. Don't forget defense. Less than 10 seconds. We are going to work to finish. Three punch combinations, inside or out, duck after every combo. Let's go, inside or outside, three punch combo. Duck, move, inside or out, three punch combo. Duck, move, keep working that to finish this fight. 45 seconds to go, let's get it. Any three punch combo, duck, move. Finish strong, 35 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Twenty seconds, you got it, come on. 
Yeah. Do not slow down on me now. You cannot stop working this late in the game. 10 seconds. Everything you have. Any combination. Three, two, one. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent job to you guys. I remind you, these boxing workouts are brought to you live on the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel. This one was fight shape. It's just us working together, throwing combinations. You joining me at NateBauerElevated.com or here on YouTube memberships where you get the best of all of these workouts. We have events coming to you soon. We have elevated master classes, which are booked. So all of these are coming with the new website as well. So stay tuned for all of those. And of course, keep coming back Monday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern and Thursday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern for live workouts on the channel. We'll see you warriors, you fighters, you absolute beasts for the next workout.